Hi, I'm Doug Keck, and this is an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Just finished speaking with Father Tim Gallagher, OMV, popular author and host here on EWTN. His latest work, A Biblical Way of Praying the Mass, the Eucharistic Wisdom of Venerable Bruno Lanteri. Now, tell me, Father Gallagher, why did you decide to write this book? Because I found a little jewel in his writings, you know, about 45 years ago, and uh, didn't see it anywhere else. And it answers a need that many of us feel to help us pray, actually really pray the Mass, not just be there, but really pray it more deeply so that we benefit from it more greatly. And here is a simple, practical, effective, biblically-based way to do that. So this book intends to make that available to others. Now, in the interview we did, you talked about Simeon and the beginning of the Mass. So what would be an example of some of the other biblical figures that he would have recommended during different parts of the sure. Mass? Mm -hmm. So at the penitential rite, I confess to Almighty God, Lord, have mercy. Pray that with what was in the heart of the tax collector who stayed at a distance in the temple and just kept saying to, to God, oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. With that humble, open, receptive uh, stance before God's mm -hmm. mercy. When you're listening to the readings and the gospel, do it with what was in the heart of the disciples who sat on the mountainside or by the lake shore and heard Jesus preach. They just hung on the word, on his words, the gospel tells us. When you pray the creed, say it the way the martyrs said it, like your life is on the line. Uh, at the offertory, pray it with the sentiments, the priestly heart of Melchizedek, this man who offers bread and wine. Um, at the holy, 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 like the angels and the saints in heaven, what fills their hearts as they praise God. At the consecration, ask for the sentiments that filled the heart of Christ in his self-offering. Mm -hmm. At the Our Father, one who pray, asks for what he needs. At the Lamb of God, for one who needs God's mercy. At communion, one in love. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Mass, like a disciple sent forth to bring Christ to the world. So that in a thumbnail is, but the book unpacks all of this. Right, right. So if I'm, if I'm there and I want to pick a disciple, could I pick any disciple I might particularly relate to more in my mind from having read the gospel? Sure, absolutely. Uh, what's, what's going to happen as one prays this way is that on certain days when we're at Mass, one or another of these biblical figures will come to the fore. This is not a syllabus to be gotten mm -hmm. through formally every time, but these are starting points for our hearts, and grace will move our hearts toward one or the other as we pray them. But what, what these do is to propose a solid, as I say, biblically-based space for our hearts to pray the corresponding part of the Mass. It's also interesting because you talk not only about praying the Mass, but in a way praying the book. How so? Yes, the way I wrote the book was to present the biblical figure and show how that figure illuminates how we can live that part of the Mass but then the book is not only to be read. In each chapter, the latter part offers concrete exercises of prayer and reflection that, if done by the reader, will help the reader then bring that space of the heart to that part of the Mass the next time he or she goes to Mass. Okay, very good. So it's good. a book to be read and to be prayed. Absolutely. So that's uh, a biblical way of praying the Mass, the Eucharistic wisdom of Venerable Bruno Lanteri by our good friend Father Timothy Gallagher. OMV, thank you so much, Father, and look for all the Father's books available through the EWTN Religious Catalog, EWTNRC.com for all things Catholic, and especially Father Gallagher's books. Thank you, Father, and thank you all for joining us here. We'll see you next time you, on Doug. this Bookmark Brief. Thanks for stopping by.